Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to take you through the sound that I performed at the Kima International Sound Symposium, KISS 2019 in Busan, Korea. I originally gave this talk after my performance in one of the palindrome sets, but when I was reviewing the footage here in my studio I realized I had moved the camera a bit and only caught my left arm flailing about. <laughs> There it is. So I'm going to take you through it again here now. There was also a Q&A at the end of the talk, which we can continue here in the comment section. So down below, please leave your questions and comments so we can start a dialogue. And also please consider liking and subscribing. So let's go ahead and get into this. The theme of KISS 2019 was resonance. And while I've incorporated that in some seemingly obvious ways with the cross filter, which I'll get into in a moment in the sound. I also wanted to look at it in terms of uh, the places I've traveled to and the ability to evoke emotions and images, nostalgia. So this is actually an image that inspired this piece or went very closely uh, with the piece as I was putting it all together. And this is Ani actually. So here in the distance, you can see it a bit. This is a photograph my friend Gore and I captured uh, one day. A few of us went to see this in Armenia. So we actually took this image through an iPhone uh, that had binoculars held over the lens and then had to pan together to get it. So to me, it says a lot about the sound in, in its raw form and beauty and just sort of unpolished uh, in a way. So that's kind of what got this whole thing started and how resonance applies uh, not only from that uh, cross filter and convolution aspect, but also from uh, the strong ability to evoke emotions and imagery uh, from the places that I've traveled to. So my Kima sounds, um, was coming from this setup here, which is Playtron. So you notice in the beginning I touch some things and I drop things as well. So this is live input and then Playtron, which is sending MIDI note on and off information. Um, and that's the basic gist here. And then flying a few faders and moving a few knobs to control the VCS, which looks like this. So this is what I'm looking at when I perform and how all this kind of correlates is that I've got these four here mapped to these four buttons and then these three on the Playtron going to these three. So anytime I press this one, for example, it's going to generate a random elevator level, random wave level level or random duty from this one, which I'll play this sound and it'll all start to make more sense, but just so you can kind of see the correlation between the setup and then what's on, or what would be on my screen here, okay? And then the actual signal flow looks like this. All right, and it's right here in the sound editor, so there's no sense of time really. It's not in a timeline, so this piece can be any length that needs to be. Uh, in this iteration, it was about 10 minutes long. Over here is where everything starts. I've got my field recordings of the Armenian elevator and the input from the live wavetable. So just to give you a sense of how this looks on the VCS or correlates to the VCS, I've got all my Euclidean beats which would be this section here. Then I've got the wave shaping, which would be here. The convolution, which is this branch, goes to here. And then the control panel. These are all the Playtronica switches and toggles which as I mentioned is going to these 
and then I have this annotation for the operation which is this section here which serves both as a guide for me performing this piece um, but also it's inspired by the kind of the layout of an elevator if you've seen directions if you get stuck if there's a fire or whatever so everything sort of relates back to this elevator which is this is the picture if you've been paying attention to the channel at all you'll see that a lot in my recent stuff so let's look a little bit closer at this code So I've got these Euclidean beats. If we look here, I've got this Armenian elevator sample seven field recordings, and then I'm doing 27 replications, so a really thick onslaught of sound. And what's important here is that's getting recorded for a half second every time the trigger on becomes true. And on, as we'll see here, open and close the doors, is a Playtronica toggle. So key down, toggle when key number equals 36. That triggers both the sound, the play, and then this recording, which as I said, goes for half a second, writes into a file named Armenian Elevator for you. And then I reference that recording here. So you see that this wavetable in the function generator is that exact same name. And then I'm triggering that at the Euclidean beats. And you can see all that there. And then from the memory writer is important so that it can get that file. The main takeaway here is the duty. So by having this as a hot value, I can scale it, which means that I can let through basically however much of that recording that I want. So that can be maybe a full squeak or squawk from the elevator or just a little blip and I'll play that for you as well. Now this same principle is happening up here only from the live input from the contact microphones. So I've got two contact mics going. I've got an amplitude follower so only once the threshold is breached here is the sound triggered. That writes for one second into a live wavetable and then that is referenced here in this function generator and the same deal same bit of code as before and of course from the memory writer so this is all of our Euclidean beats happening here from two different sources the Armenian elevator and then the small metal objects in the strainer that sound goes out to some wave shaping and then goes through all the way to the final output. And that's your dry signal. I've also got it sent over here to the cross filter for convolution where the very same elevator and seven field recordings are acting as the response or the filter in the cross filter. So the elevator and the, and the small metal objects are being convoluted by the elevator itself. So it's kind of an interesting uh, interesting concept there. A bit of granular synthesis for a nice dense or sparse texture here. And that's what my parameter fields look like in there. And then the rest of the signal flow here. Up here, as I mentioned, is the control panel. So this is where I have all my Playtronica mappings. And then a bit of code for my random level of live wavetables, for example, looks like this. And the same for the Armenian elevator. And one thing I'll point out in the random duties is that I've scaled it in this case when this button gets pushed to generate a random number between 0 and 1, but then to scale it by 0 0.15 so that the max value is 0.15 which is actually a pretty short duty cycle so it allows me to just have these sparse blips initially and then lengthen it with this hot value and that'll become more apparent when I play it but uh, a nice place to start and then goes through to the final output so let's go ahead and hear this and I'm just gonna play the sound and mess with some of the parameters and then you can kind of see everything I went over 
um, how it all relates to the sound. So there you have it. That kind of gives you an overview of the sounds um, and how I performed it for the KISS 2019 in Busan, Korea. If you have questions I, or comments, I welcome them in the section below. I definitely will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you're into this kind of thing. And we'll see you in the next video.